SPC promotes student learning through the proper and ethical use of information. Students build upon thoughts and ideas of others to increase their knowledge and generate original thought. A good research paper integrates a student's original thought with the scholarship and viewpoints of experts. Acknowledging the sources of information drawn upon the research per process is critical. Use of Turnitin service via my courses enables student faculty to identify areas within submitted work that can be strengthened th through improved paraphrasing, integration of sources, or proper citation. The tool flags similarity and mechanical issues in written work that merit review. So after you have a Dropbox that has been created to be a Turnitin Dropbox, and please review the tutorials on that, you can then view the originality or grade mark report. Click on the Submission Review tab, click on Dropboxes. What you want to do is click on the name of the Dropbox in which you, view, you want to view the submissions. Within the Submission area, under the Reports tab, You'll see a percentage number and a color next to the file submitted. This tells you um, this is the Turnitin report. To view the actual report, click on the color-coded part of the report to open it up and view the originality report. So the report will open up in a new tab, and the graphic, the graphic in the tutorial um, will provide some information about how you read the report. So for example, this will give you the way that you want to view the report. This match over, or right here, this number tells you uh, a similarity index, indicates the percentage of the paper that contains matches outside the sources. You can click on any one source um, and see the matching text that converted. And then you can actually click on the full view resource. Um, the icons for the paper submission information, download and print, and more. So there's icons here where you can actually download, uh, get ac class access for an iPad, view information about this paper. So you can view information about the submission of this paper. Um, this area is the icons to review sources and filter results. So you can click on each of these and it'll take you directly to that area. If you really want to learn a lot more about how to view the originality report, I would suggest you view the tutorial that's in the step-by-step -step directions. When you're done viewing the, the report, click on the X on the open tab to close it. And then you can repeat the process by clicking on another, um, the color-coded part, to view the originality report of the next student. When you're done, again, click that. When you're completely done, scroll back up and then click on the folder list breadcrumb link to take you back to the Dropbox folder area.